Straight from the 757, it's the re Radio Show, where we encourage everyone, everywhere, to re-envision everything. Here is your host, No Malice, and the Iceman. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, it's your man, No Malice, right here. Welcome to the re Radio Show. Well, we encourage everyone, everywhere, to re-envision everything. I am your man, No Malice, out here at Top Golf with the Ice Man. What up, Ice? How you all feeling? Right, I'm here, man. We're ready to get on top of the disease. You all right? Yeah, man. Yeah, we're gonna we we gonna get all over this yeah, disease. Man. Get on top of, see what we can do to help. All right, all right. So what we doing right now? We're out here, at Top Golf in Virginia Beach. Uh, I'm with my home girl, Ashley Hayes. And we are bringing awareness to lupus and fibromyalgia. And uh, Ashley today is going to help us with that. Now, if you would, Ashley, if you could, please explain to us um, in layman's terms exactly what is lupus and how has it affected you? Okay, well, hey everybody, I'm Ashley. Um, Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects the joints, muscles, and systems of the body. That means basically you have good cells attacking good cells because those cells are blind and don't know what to go for. So I kind of explain it to my friends who may not know as arthritis, but it's life-threatening. That's that's something you can compare it to. Because it it can affect things like your, your brain, your heart. It can attack all these areas because those cells do not recognize the other cells that may be good and they're just trying to fight off everything when that disease flares up okay 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 now is this something that is more uh dominant in men than women or vice versa Uh, it's actually more dominant in minority women wow um, yeah the numbers are very staggering but that's not to say men do not get lupus they do very well get lupus the numbers are just higher for the females out there okay okay um, what uh, treatment options are available for this? Well, you know, there um, are a lot of treatments. I've actually had lupus since the age of 12. Okay. And I am now um, going to be 28 in June. Okay. So I've been dealing with this, with this for a long time. So I've had treatments all the way from uh, types of chemo all the way up to prednisone, which are steroids. Mm-hmm. Um, I take about 10 medications a day, and I've been doing that for years. So, but that just keeps my lupus um, stable, maintained, and me being able to deal with it. Because, I mean, out here kicking it with you and looking at you, you look great. You would never know, you know, anything was going on. Right. I mean, God is good. Oh. So, let me huh? just throw that out, right? Huh? Know, he's an on-time huh? guy. Yes, he oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Say it again. So, um, Say it again. on-time guy. Oh, absolutely. Yes, he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. That's right. That's but, right. you know, dealing with that, you know, that's the thing. You have to have your faith. You have to stay strong, you know, and I just look for, you know, the prize at the end, like why we're here today raising money. Um, I actually, um, on top of lupus, have had a stroke and I um, um, have had cancer. Okay. And so doing all this before even the age of 27, you know, I'm just blessed to be here right now. Amen. And um, Amen. I'm unable to carry my own children because of that. And so I linked up with well, partners in the community found me and they saw our story on the news and half of these proceeds are coming to us to raise our families because I have to have a surrogate in order to be able to have a baby. Okay. So um, all right. I'm just blessed that these people came and they saw our story and just felt, you know, wow, this is a good cause. Let me help these these random people out, you know, you know, right, who are right. just trying to make a living. So right. I'm just like I said, I'm blessed to be here and you know Well, well check this out. You know, uh, we here at the Re Envision Podcast, uh, it is all about Jesus Christ with us. So, you know, so when when you said that you know God is first and your faith is everything and he will definitely get you through it I'm glad that you uh, you made mention of that is there anything that you would tell you know anyone who is dealing with this uh, disease uh, not not just anyone who's dealing with it but for family members or or what what is something that uh, we can do to, to to help or make it more tolerable or you know or other than people or even enlighten people yeah people. yeah or just to enlighten others well even not just with this disease all diseases when you have somebody going through this especially I know with lupus one day we'll be fine I can walk out with some six inch stiletto heels on all right. and look good but then the next day I won't be able to walk and when okay. people see that they don't understand the the break there that you know oh it's nothing wrong with her oh right. she's fine you know we need to have compassion understanding for the people out here that are going through these diseases and just supporting them and telling them that they're everything telling them that they're beautiful telling them that they can make it you know 
just giving them that support. And also, like I said, your faith is your foundation. So Amen. you need to have that first. So if you see some, I was in the doctor. Let me go back to this. Go ahead. Take I your time. We're here. All right. All right. All right. Um, getting chemotherapy, Lord. And I saw this girl, and she was in so much pain. And I could just see it in her face. And I just remember going through that. And it just, I just dropped to the, to the ground. And I just said a prayer with her because I was there at one point in time. And I Amen. remember how that felt. Amen. And just having somebody there to support me, it, it, it just made all the difference. Amen. And just that Amen. girl just touched me that day. So when you see somebody on the, out on the street and you don't even know them, just, you know, tell them that you love them. Tell them it's going to be okay. Tell them that you're going to make it, you know, because you never know that little effect that you have on somebody for the next day. Amen. Amen. I, I well, go ahead. I do. Look, is, is this disease, is it a, a disease that strikes you when you're young? And you carry it from your youth on up, or can you, can people it's later on in like 24, 25, can it attack them? Right, it's actually a genetic disease. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, when I was diagnosed at 12 years old, it had been in my system since I was born. Mm -hmm. It just hadn't come out yet. Uh -huh. So some people I've met, they don't they don't find out they have it till they're in their 40s. Yeah. They don't find out that they have it until they're in their 50s, or even younger kids, 12 and and adolescents. So it can show whenever it decides to show its face and flare. Mm -hmm. When I first was diagnosed. I had high temperature. I had, I wasn't eating anything. I lost a lot of weight. Uh -huh. I was I, I had I forgotten how to walk completely. And so because I was in bed rest and they didn't know what was wrong, they thought it was a virus. So then when they actually did the, the testing and a rheumatologist came in and my level, my blood level, it shows in the blood your levels that you have lupus. So when they did that, that's how I found out that I had it. You say some days you can walk in your high heels and mm -hmm. some days you can't. You know. Yes. When you and well. Even in your, when you're in your high heels, even when you're not in your high heels and you're just out like this, you feel a bad babe. That's right. all I got. It is. It <laughs> is. You feel a bad babe. That's all I got. <laughs> there he go. We got we to gotta watch this dude. He do a little flirting. <laughs> but, um, Ashley, I, I, I want to thank you for coming out and, and uh, you know, just, just sharing and, and, and sharing with, with, you know, the things that you go through. Um, being up here with us on, at Re Envision Radio is an honor and a pleasure to be able to to take part, come out in the community, and, and bring awareness to uh, lupus. And um, definitely keep God first. And you look amazing. You look beautiful. So keep doing what you're doing and let people know about what's going on. Thank you. And I also want to thank you all for being here. You know, bringing awareness, bringing light to this issue, at lupus and fibromyalgia. I love you for it. And just keep on doing what you're doing. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Re-Envision Radio. All right, we're back at the Re-Envision Radio show where we encourage everyone everywhere to re-envision everything. I'm out here with my homegirl, Kalisha. How you doing? You all right? I'm doing wonderful. All right, you look amazing. I thank you. All right, all right, that's what's up. So so um, we're out here at Top Golf in Virginia Beach, and we are bringing awareness right now to lupus and fibromyalgia. Uh -huh. yes, and Kalisha are. is going to tell us a little bit about uh, fibromyalgia and exactly what it is. Well, fibromyalgia, that's something that I suffer with. Um, but as I state, I don't let it control me. I control the fibromyalgia. Amen. There, it's an autoimmune disease, which is linked to an autoimmune disease. But it, it affects more of the nerves and the muscles that affects your body pretty much all throughout your body. So from any point of the day, it could be from your shoulders to your knees to your back. Um, I was diagnosed with it in 2012. Okay. It was my 35th birthday present. So all up until that, up until this point, my main goal is to figure out a way to defeat it. So fibromyalgia is something that you can have it, but you don't have to let it control your life. Amen. And you made that very clear to me when we first met. You said you have it, but it does not have you. No, I thought sir, that was an awesome, not. awesome point. No, um, can you tell us about uh, some of the, the treatment options that are available for it? Uh, the treatment options, you have to see a rheumatologist. They okay. are the one that diagnosed the condition. All right. It's definitely one of those conditions. They call it, uh, it's, it's silent. You don't see the symptoms. Uh, you might get mistaken for another disease. Uh, you really don't know whether or not it's just an everyday hurt or everyday pain. Fibromyalgia is a painful disease. Okay. It keeps you in pain all day and all night. You know, just imagine somebody pulling on your muscles and your nerves all throughout your body at any time of the day. So it's not something that you can really get away from. 
Uh, they give you different medications, uh, anything from nerve pills, okay. strong nerve medications, uh, anti-inflammatory, muscle relaxers, and just regular pain pain pills um, uh -huh. as far as like hydrocodone, things of that nature. Okay. I made a conscious decision in November of 2015 not to take any more medication. Okay. So, okay. You know, everybody's everybody's journey is different. Right. Everybody takes, but the more research I did, I decided, I figured out that it's your diet. It's things, it's exercise. It's okay. things that you can change Makes from sense. that aspect before you just commit yourself to nothing but medicine. Okay. Because my thing is, the rheumatologist said there's no cure for it. So if there's no cure for it, I don't want to just doctor it and patch it up. Right, so right. that's my thing. You know, I encourage people, you know, take the medications if that's what your choice is. Right. But I just really encourage to find other alternatives to can you, yourself. Can you, can you tell me uh, where, where or how does your faith play a part in this? Huh. Without my faith, I would not be here. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I give all thanks and honor to the good Lord above. Amen. You know, I feel like this was not something that the Lord gave me, but he gave me the strength and the ability to fight it. You know, all I'm right. a fighter. I'm a Jersey girl, so. Okay, I'm okay. I'm a fibro fighter. I'm not going to let it take the best of me. Jersey in the house. All day. All tell right. me, um, what about, uh, what causes, like, numbness? Is it numbness in the feet that comes oh, yes. about? Yeah. You can get numbness in the feet, numbness in the fingers. My first indicator, and a lot of the things with fibromyalgia that people don't realize, it comes from traumatic events. So you could be in a car accident. Okay. You can be, it was the it was the birth of my last two daughters that took me through. I had a daughter in 2010 and a daughter in 2012. Okay. So the issues that surface from that, it kind of ignites it. Okay. So it's a lot of things and a lot of issues that, you know, can be a lot of stress. You know, people don't realize, and I try to express that to my 14-year-old daughter, try not to be on the stress so much. Right. Not to let your body stay so tensed up all the time. That's right. Don't be angry. That's don't right. Don't be mad because you don't realize your nerves and your muscles are taking effect. So after 20 years and 25 years of, let it, of it taking that effect, it could be one thing that ignites it. So keep yourself cool at all times. Right. My aunt always tell me keep a cool head. So that's well, the Bible I'm tells us to be anxious that's for right. nothing. For nothing. All right. and do no not anxiety. Anger, right. And don't let that anger, because when you get angry, it takes you to another level. It takes your muscles. I mean, I go through it. Even now, when I get upset, stress is the worst. That's the worst thing for fibromyalgia. Well, I dub you Miss Isolated. Be cool all the time. Thank you. Yeah. For sure. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you said that sometimes that uh, fibromyalgia is mistaken for an, uh, uh, other ailments. Do you know, like, could you tell us what is sometimes mistaken for? It could be mistaken for lupus. Lupus, it be okay. Or MS. Okay. There are other conditions because. Osteosporosis. It, right. They mirror symptoms. Okay. It'll be the same. It'll be shoulders. It'll be the anti inflammation. It'll be the joints. It'll be the. It's so many things that it mirrors. Does, does sickle cell anemia react yes, the same way? Yep. Sickle cell, all, those are the things that they're all in the same family. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's hard for uh, rheumatologists to decipher which one you might have. Uh -huh. Because on the blood test, all the tests that I took for about three months, it didn't, it's a certain bacteria level. It's a certain that you're supposed to be tested at. Okay. And nothing came on my test. You know, mm. or, or does it does it affect your entire body, all yes, your sir. joints and everything? Yes, sir. Like right now, it's certain points on my body they call pressure points. Mm -hmm. You can't touch it. Like it hurts just that bad. Okay. Wow. You know, I mean, you can grab my shoulder too hard, mm -hmm. and it, it hurts. It yeah. really hurts. Can you can you tell like tell us uh, what kind of assistance is available to let's say someone who may not be able, someone who doesn't have health care. You know, what What can they do? Any assistance available? I'm that person who does not have health care. Okay. So I make sure, that's why I say you have to research, uh -huh. and you have to make sure you're eating right, you're mm -hmm. exercising. That's the best defense against it. The doctors will tell you, you can do this, you can do that, but you can also, they have local clinics. Okay. I don't care what state, what city you're in, you have a local clinic in that area. And in that local clinic, they might charge you a certain amount, but they have to, by law, pretty much diagnose 
a condition that you're coming in. It might be at a scale of 25, you might pay 50, but you will be able to see a doctor for them to diagnose you. Okay. From that instance, uh, they'll send you, like if you're in Virginia, mm -hmm. you can go to like MCV over the water. Okay. So, in so Richmond. With, with your own personal case, with God, and your own discipline, you yes, know, sir. that God is showing you, you're working out well, well with it, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord, for I don't, It's not going to take my whole life. I yeah. got four children, yeah. and it's God, not going to take me down. God can do amazing oh, things. Oh, he has already yes, he done can. it. He can Amen. Amazing. Amen. Definitely. We know with God all things are possible. It We're is. here with Kalisha. We're talking about fibromyalgia and lupus. Out here, Top Golf, Re-Envision Radio, where we encourage everyone everywhere to re-envision everything. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Re-Envision Radio. All right, we're back. Re-Envision Radio. We're out here, uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, at Top Golf. And, uh, you know, um, it's just good to be out here in the community, man, and, and to be able to uh, just to do some good. Today we're talking about lupus. Uh, fibromyalgia and bringing some some kind of awareness to it, man. It's it's, it's amazing, uh, you know, that people could be going through so much pain and, and you can't even tell just by looking at them, you know. It's a hard hitting disease, and not only that, I was looking at the two young ladies there. That I know you were looking at the two young ladies. You know how you've been looking you know at how, all the ladies. You know I how mean, that goes. Some, you know, we'll talk about that off the camera. No, we won't. <laughs> but no, seriously, they are. They're, not only the, the young ladies that were suffering from the disease, you know, I'm praying for their families as well, because sometimes the mother, father, husband, sister, brother, they suffer as hard, too, watching their right. they, 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 yeah, uh, loved ones go, go, go through, through something so, like that. But you God, know, God can do amazing um, things. Yeah. Come on, we already know that. Yeah. By his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. You know, um, I, I think what, what, what they did, or the, the uh, I think... Kalisha and and Ashley uh, opened a, opened my eyes and I'm sure opened a lot of people's eyes to uh, the fact of what to expect. You you wouldn't even know what these pains are or these symptoms right. are. That's you right. would think that you're just going through That's something right. or having some kind of ache and pain and, right. and, and, and not even know it. Yeah. That, you know, got to have it according to them. You got to have the smallest thing diagnosed. You know what I yeah. mean? So yeah. Those diseases, they're kind of the diseases. That, you know, I believe that the devil and Satan is in all those of diseases. Of course, yeah. And they I, got a way of creeping up on you right. slowly. And before you know it, you know, the disease has got you and gone. But well, you know, Ashley says she didn't uh, know of anything until she was 12 years old. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm sure in the meantime she had maybe suffered a lot of pains and didn't even know, you know, what was going on. Parents didn't know, you know, what was going on. So... You know, uh, now I feel like we, we may have a, a, a head start, a jump start, and anybody sure, watching sure, this podcast sure, will have a, a, a sure, head start, sure. you know? You know, with Re Envision uh, Radio, the podcast that you and I have, you know, I think a lot of, we never try to push God on people or push Jesus on people because the Bible say, come as you are, whosoever will. But me personally, and I'm sure you are too, I'm a real strong advocate of the secret closet. Man, you could get in your secret closet and actually pray a lot of those diseases away. I, I'm a believer. You can actually. I'm a living testimony it. of that. Yeah, faith over what? Huh? Faith over mustard seed. Oh, yeah, the faith of a mustard seed. You know, mustard seed. David, <laughs> he, he knocked. Go lies out with a rock that size. And yeah. Right upside the head with faith. Yeah. You know what it means. And 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 I think it's just incredible because when you see when people are going through things and 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 dealing with uh, sicknesses and ailments and 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 suffering, uh, you know. God, they lean on God, you know, on and, God. and to see yeah. th these two young ladies' faith in, in, in the Lord, they, they'll be the first to tell you that uh, the Lord has gotten them as far as they have gotten thus far. If, if it wasn't for the goodness and the mercy of the Lord. That's right. Yeah, the mercy I, of the Lord. Absolutely. I, I, I do. I think I thank the Lord for the two two young ladies, too, Eugene. They, they, they seem eager to get out to uh, bring this disease, diseases to highlight. You right, know, that the world can see. So some good gonna come out of it. Absolutely, way, some good gonna always come out of it. Absolutely, yeah. So y'all know what it is, man. It's the Reinvision Radio Show. We are out here at Top Golf in Virginia Beach, bringing awareness to fibromyalgia and lupus. All right, all right. Stay tuned. Reinvision Radio.